What do you think about the carnivore diet that is becoming the next big thing on the internet? Well, here's the deal. Carnivores lead very short lives. So if you want to shrink your good lifespan, please follow the carnivore diet. I talked about this in all of my books. I'm talking a lot about it in the next book, The Longevity Paradox. The thing that's unifying in all the blue zones is the very limited amount of animal protein that all the blue zones eat. And animal protein ages you. It ages you for two reasons. It stimulates a growth factor called insulin-like growth factor that actually promotes cancer. And animal protein, to digest it, it's incredibly inefficient. That's why people lose weight on a high protein diet. It takes about 30% of all the calories in protein to digest it. But the cost is a high temperature and carnivores in general run much higher temperatures than the rest of us. Take the temperature of your dog or cat for example. They'll run about two degrees higher than you do and they have very short lives compared to non-carnivores. So, carnivore diet will make you lose weight, but it'll also make you lose your life long term. Not a good idea. Are water lily seeds compliant on the plant paradox? Yes, they are. Uh, I actually have some in my pantry and I munch on them. Eh, they're okay. I've even tried them salted with sea salt. Uh, but they're perfectly safe. They do have some interesting health benefits. So if you like them, go ahead and eat them. By the way, you can get popped water lily uh, seeds. Be careful, the popping makes them, the carbohydrate in them more usable. You can digest it into sugar quicker. There seems to be buzz about the new sweetener allulose. Uh, what's your take? I have it in my pantry. Uh, it is perfectly acceptable, but here's the deal. Retreat from sweet. Your tongue has sweet receptors. It does not have sugar receptors. And two-thirds of the taste buds on your tongue are sweet re receptors. That's because long ago it would have been a really idea, good idea when you found that fruit tree that you should eat every last bit of fruit so that you could store fat for the winter. When your tongue tastes sweet, your brain assumes that you're eating fruit, because way back when, when it was wired, that was the only sweet taste there was. And your brain gets fooled when you use any of these sweeteners, whether they're approved or not. And when sugar doesn't arrive at your brain, your brain literally thinks it's been cheated and it makes you go looking for more. So one of the keys is retreat from sweet. And you'll retrain your taste buds. So if you're going to use this, you know, start with a serving and then cut it in half and it'll taste not as sweet as you want for a couple weeks. And then you'll notice, oh my gosh, this is as sweet as it ever was. Cut it in half again. Wean yourself from sweeteners. They're not good for you. They're not good for your weight, no matter how healthy they are.